Neil, thank you very much for taking the time to join us. Picked up where you left off in 1995 here. How are you feeling? It was a good performance. I mean, I'm so proud of the lads and the fans today. I mean, even when I came out, it was was quite embarrassing, really. (laughs) I thought the Birmingham, I felt sorry for them, really. Um, But it it was good. You know, I've I've come back here for 15 difficult games, but I've come back to put smiles on people's faces. And, and, you know, I've got so much time for Dean Oil. Um, And I know he's been criticised lately, but, you know, that's the reason I've come back. And to show him I've not lost anything like that, you know, I mean, yes, it's a, you know, and, as I, and I've said to the players tonight, they're all exhausted, they've never worked as hard in their lives. And I've said, how do you feel? How do you feel sat in this dressing room tonight? And everybody was absolutely buzzing. And that's how, that's how it is. But you've got to put that sort of endeavour in, your crowd's got to put that sort of endeavour in to get results like that in this league. And, and the rest is history. You just, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful game when you... See a group of lads like that, you know. I mean, I made a few changes today. You know, the goalkeeper's doing well. Uh, Ungbo took his goal super. I, I wanted to do something different up front. Danny Ward and and, and uh, Hellick, I was told weren't going to be fit on, on Wednesday night, Thursday morning, sorry. But they both played, and I thought Danny Ward looked fantastic. And and then Hoggy played with it. He's he's had a problem as well for 48 hours, but. He said he'd give it a go, and you know he was he, instrumental as well. So the senior lads have really done well today, um, and then the young lads have come up trumps with the, with the, with, you know, with the goals. It must have been a, a slight panic for you when the game starts and Birmingham go ahead so quickly. Yeah, I mean it, it's difficult because we weren't doing bad. We did well. We started well. We were on the front foot, and then all of a sudden, bang, 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 and it's a goal. Um, sli- you know, I think you could say it might have been just slightly offside, um, which you know. Uh, it didn't surprise you. Uh, but it, overall, it was, um, you know, I said to the lads yesterday, um, every time I, I've been told, every time you concede a goal, you, get, you give in. You throw the towel in. And that's not my kind of teams, that. You know, it only takes a second, Cluffy used to say, takes a second to score. And so we've got to get, you know, not worry about disappointments because somebody might make a mistake. Get on with it again. We're good enough to score more. And, it, you know, I think to score, you know, to win a game from when you've gone behind today... It, it gives them so much confidence, the players. They understand now. We can do that now. So, we, you know, there'll be nobody throwing the towel in now. I mean, I mean Burnley next week, dear me, I might have a holiday there. Like you say, it's, it's not an easy run we've got until the end of the season, but with an atmosphere like that, with the, the welcome and ovation that you got, the, the way the lads played, and the, the noise from the stands, that's the way we're going to get through to the end of the season, isn't it? Well, that's how I remember Huddersfield. I'm a, I'm a lucky man, really. I only remember Huddersfield like that. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the bad times that you've had recently or, or you know, the discouragement and what have you. Um, uh, and that's what I've come back for. Like I say, I want people to smile. I want people to go home happy and talking. And when I walked round after with the players, I, you know, they were right. Everybody was clapping and the hands above the heads and and it, it was really emotional. Me and Ronnie, you know, uh, it's. Uh, I, I, I yesterday in tra- after training, I said to Ron, that was the that's as good a training session as I've seen. That I hope he don't. I hope I'm not expecting too much. Because it was spot on. They listened to every word I said. We did so many things in two and a half hours. Um, but they all took it on board. And to see it come to fruition today, oh, I sleep well tonight. Neil, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Turn it up.